All right. It's all right, Jamal. Remove the body. You must understand. We wish you no harm. We only want the world to know of our struggles for freedom. We do not want war. When your government bombed our homes and killed our children, you left us very little choice. We fight back only to defend ourselves. Sometimes your government fails to understand that. But these are just school children. They've got nothing to do with your political problems. Your bombs killed our children. If soon your troops attack us, these very same children will be more than willing to kill us. We have no quarrel with you. Your country was bombed because of your terrorism. This is not true. Your government has given you the wrong information. We are a peace-loving people! Enough of this. I don't have to debate politics with you. I still think we should deploy some men on the roof. We can go behind the building, position ourselves there. Now, you listen to me, Captain. I'm not going to risk any more lives if I can help it. Those goddamn terrorists near destroyed my town and killed a lot of innocent people. I don't know how many of them are in that building or how they're deployed. But until the FBI gets here, I am running the show. Have you got that? Okay, Chief. It's your ball game. We got a jet for those cutthroats? I'll check on it. I'll get going. I thought your name's on the piece of paper. All of you, come on. What's this for? Never mind. Just write your name down. I know we can wear them down. We'll delay them as long as we can. What's the story in the FBI? They're on their way. Chief got a school bus. Oh, good. Get ready to move it up at the last possible moment. Right. Maybe we could bug the bus. Oh, Steiner, this ain't Mission Impossible. We don't have much of a call for electronic surveillance around here. Uh, Chief, uh, no offense, but do you have much experience in dealing with hostage situations? Yeah, I saw Dog Day Afternoon three times, and I watched the Mediterranean Circus on the TV news every night. Never. Hello in there. I'd like to talk. What is it? Well, I'd like to know your name. No names. I tell you what, when we get the bus here, I'll trade you the bus for a hostage. What do you say? No deals. You have 24 minutes. Now, wait a minute. We need a little more time. You have 23 minutes, Chief. Dog day afternoon? Well, it worked in the movie. Excuse me. What is it? Can, can we just let the girls go? They're, they're frightened and there's no need to keep them here. We can just be quiet. Listen, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. Stop it! Quiet. Or you will get the same. Leave her alone, dirt ball! Come on! Take it easy! It's not necessary! You must admit it to us! They call us names! You have no respect for us. You students are truly ignorant of our people and our motives. Listen to me. All of you, you're in a very dangerous situation. Each and every one of you. If you do not cooperate with us, your life's in a great danger. And remember, I will not hesitate to kill. Is that understood? What is it? I have to go to the bathroom. All right, go ahead. Jamal will go with you. I'll hold it. 
Deputy, can you tell us what's going on in there? Well, I can't answer this. Right, answer listen, answer your guess is as good as mine. Now, listen, answer folks, answer you're going to have to move back. As soon as we have something, Chief will let you know. Jerry, get in there. As soon as we have something, Chief will let you know. I can't answer that. I have no idea. As soon as we have something, we'll let you know, all right? As soon as we have something, huh? And the locations, who's your high school? Chief, I just spoke to the governor. He promised to have a jet waiting at the airport. Oh, good work. And we're getting all sorts of flack from the press. Everybody wants to know what's going on. Well, you tell them we got nothing to say. They're pretty insistent. Well, I don't give a damn. If those terrorists have a radio, I don't want them to hear anything they don't already know. What are you going to do with us? They're going to pick a name and kill one of us. Like they did on that ship, the Achille Loro. You shut up or I'll kill you right now. A warning. Everything's fine. Let's go in. No, we wait. Chief, let's move in. They may be killing those kids. If we start shooting, those kids don't have a chance. Please don't kill us. Be quiet. have got us by the balls. Should I bring the bus up now? No. I want confirmation from the airport that we've got a jet waiting on the runway. We might be better off if we can get him out of the building onto the bus. As soon as we get the jet, Captain. As soon as we get the jet. Hey, listen up. The bus is coming. Just don't hurt anyone, okay? Everything in the air is fine. Be more careful. I almost shot you. What did you want me to do? Knock? Where are the two boys? I don't know. You don't know? What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. I lost them in the halls. Are they still in the building? Maybe. I don't know. It's not good, Jamal. Not good at all. What do you want from me? Very foolish people. If you attack us or try to escape again, we'll kill all of you. Do I make myself clear? Yes. You all have families, right? You? Yes. Have any children? I had a daughter, two years old, killed by you. If you want to see your families again, you will do exactly as I say. Is that understood? <laughs> 